If you want to add a push button to Arduino with relatively short wires, then all you need is a button and two wires. And by relatively short, I mean that if your button is on the same breadboard with Arduino, then you don't have to worry about it. I will later explain the issues with longer wires and how to make it work, but now let's continue with this example. Most tutorials instruct you to use pull-up or pull-down resistors, but for simple buttons close to Arduino board, it is completely unnecessary. Arduino has internal pull-up resistors that can be activated by Arduino code. We only need to connect our button between an input pin and ground. I have written this very simple Arduino program that reads pin 2 and if the value changes then writes it to serial port. This delay here is a quick and dirty debounce filter. In this video I will not go in depth of what bounce is and what are good methods to deal with it. But at some point in the future I will make a video about it and link it in the description box. First let's take a look what happens if internal pull-up is not activated. We only get reliable results if button is pressed, since then the input pin is connected to ground and digital read will always be zero. But when the button is released, then the input is floating and touching the wire will generate random flicker on the input pin. By default, if you don't write any pin initialization code, all digital pins are defined as input. This issue with floating pin is easily resolvable by initializing pin 2 with pin mode input pull-up. As you can see, Touching the wire doesn't affect digital read anymore. Only actually pressing the button does. Now let's come back to the issue with long wires. For demonstration purpose I went to the extreme. This wire is about 10 meters or 33 feet. The problem is that it is starting to act like an antenna. Even though I have internal pull-up enabled, it has too high resistance and could not reliably pull it up to 5 volts. I made a small modification to the code. I removed the primitive debounce filter because it would hide the issue. It would not fix the problem, but only makes it much less likely to happen. At first it appears to be working, but uh, the moment I switch off my ceiling lamp, it gives some phantom button bushes. In this case we need to use more classical button wiring and add an external pull-up resistor that has much lower resistance than the internal pull-up. 1K pull-up resistor between pin 2 and 5 volts. But this isn't enough for this experiment. Let's add another 1K resistor to the other end of the long wire. It effectively makes it a 500 ohm resistor. And this did the trick here. Generally, you should avoid that long wires to your input signals. Thank you for watching.